Today, I'm going to do something pretty freaking epic. I'm going to uncover slash solve all of the mysteries that are hidden within toilet tower fence because there is kind of a lot of them. We're going to figure all of it out today. However, before I risk my life and have this first secret toilet tower defense committee get on me, make sure you guys subscribe right now because still less than 30% of you guys that watch my videos are subscribed. And if you like my video, then you should probably drop a sub and double double subscribe on the channel. Either way, the first mystery we're going to solve today is what's hidden on Toilet City. Let's go find out. A lot of you guys probably don't actually know this about Toilet Tower Defense, but you can actually go outside of the map. So you guys have probably tried jumping out here and well, I just did it, but you guys might not know that. <laughs> you guys might not know that you could do that. So you can literally jump out of the map here or you can jump out of the map here. There's a lot of spots you can actually get outside of the map on. And I bet a lot of you guys didn't know that you could actually get back inside the map. However, I'm going to show you all the ways you can actually get outside the map. And one of the other ways that you can do or what you can do to get outside of the map is you can actually go right here, drop on this trash can, jump right here, and you can get all up in this area. So let's show you everything that's behind here. But a lot of people don't know that you can actually easily jump back in by jumping right here, jumping here, and jumping back in. But yeah, I mean, this is just kind of cool if you want to troll your friends and just kind of stand on the top of the toilet and, you know, just act like you're kind of, you know, the king of the map. That, that's why I think it's cool getting up here. Either way, let me show you what's hidden deep in the beyond. I actually have purposely not gone back here. So I can reveal it on the video with you guys. But, oh my gosh. No way. The road ends abruptly, and there's a floating road. That's kind of creepy, dude. What's going on here? And, oh my god, guys. Oh no, I didn't mean to fall, no! I was gonna say, I'm I'm pretty sure that's a secret to a tower defense committee. But, oh, oh my god, wait, what is that? What's coming for me? How do they know I'm here? <gasps> Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta get away. I gotta get away. <sighs> Shoo! Oh my god. That was a close one. I don't know who those people were or what they were, but I think the secret toilet tower defense committee is on me. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Whoa! Well, that's obviously a secret slash mystery the secret toilet tower defense committee doesn't want you to find out about. Well, either way, be careful, because the secret toilet tower defense committee might be after you too, because they don't want you to find out about all of their hidden secrets. Either way, without a further ado, the next secret slash mystery we're going to uncover today is more of just a general question that I don't think a lot of people have asking, but they would be curious to know. But what's actually the longest map in toilet tower defense? And I'm going to find that out today. However, I'm going to do it in a little bit more of uh, my own way. We're gonna start with Cameraman HQ. Let me show you what I have in mind. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys are actually probably wondering, Hopeless, what the freaking hecking crap are you even talking about, dude? What are you literally waffling on about? Let me show you. I want to figure out what the longest map is. And you might be, how are you going to do that? Are you going to measure or time the first unit that comes out? Are you going to do all these special things? Are you going to actually ask the developer? No, I'm going to run. I'm going to basically time myself running down the track to see which map takes the like longest versus like, shortest versus longest amount of time by stopwatching it on my phone and telling you guys. Either way, without further ado, let's go ahead and start off now. Three, two, one, go! I have to go catch up to those units. I gotta go catch up to those units because I can't leak enough. I need to find out. Okay, the clock has started. I am going. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you all of this the entire time because that would get a little bit boring. Oh my gosh, can I beat the unit? Can I beat the unit? Can I beat the unit? I think this is a clean run. This is a clean run. And stop the clock. Woo! Okay. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't a bad one. The final time on that one is, wow, quicker than I thought. 19.54. I don't really know what I was expecting, but I felt like we were kind of zooming, dude. I don't know. Either way, let's head on over to the next map. I'll see you there. Okay, so this is debatably the longest map, so we are going to go ahead and test it out now. Let's see if it's longer than Cameraman HQ. Three, two, one, go! Okay, stay in the lines. Stay in the lines. You got to keep your wrist straight as possible. Ugh, okay, we were off a little bit there. Yeah. Okay, I feel like so far. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. This precision takes a lot of skill, guys. Ah! 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 Okay, I'm being so precise, concise. I'm doing everything in my power to stay absolutely within the lines here. Yeah, this feels way. I just looked down. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, this is gonna hands up. Yeah, I'd stop the time. Stop the time. There's no way this isn't the longest map. That was 33 seconds or 33.24 seconds. Okay, guys, so that is the lead. However, we're gonna see about the other maps as well. We'll show you which one's technically the longest. We got Toilet HQ up next. I think this one could give Paul and Paradise a run for its No, and absolutely not. This one's super short. <laughs> I'm pretty convinced that we all know this one's pretty freaking short. Okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. All right. Let's see how long Cameraman HQ is. I think we all know that it's going to... This one's probably the quickest. This is the shortest map, which in turn probably makes it partially the hardest map. Oh, yeah. This... Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's, uh... Yeah, it's... That was the shortest by far so far. Uh, <laughs> that clocked in at 1836. We are once again gonna head on over to the desert. I mean, I guess not once again, but we're going to the desert, baby. This map could give some of the other maps a run for its money. I think this is gonna be the second longest map. Let's find out, though. All right, three, two, one. All right. Shoot through the stars by candy bars. Oh, never mind. Oh my gosh, these are just all not nearly as long as Palm Paradise. That's crazy. That's so crazy to me. What? Desert's the shortest so far? I'm actually flabbergasted. That actually makes me shocked. Desert comes in at 17.10 17 seconds. That was the least expected one so far. Honestly, I was not ready for that. Last and certainly not least, as it's debatably my favorite map, let's go on. Let's go into Toilet City, baby. I don't want to make any predictions on how long this map is because I'm always wrong, but I'm going to anyways. This is going to be the second longest map. Three, two, one, go! All right, staying within the lines here. Just so you guys know, I'm keeping this as consistent as possible all right oh man it's just i feel like i low-key just run faster on some of these maps man it really does just feel that way but yeah we all know we all knew this was coming we all knew this was coming however i was right this was the second longest map coming in at 22.85 seconds but making palm paradise longer by a third it's not even close. It's literally not even close. So I'll go ahead and show all the rankings now. Coming in at absolute last place is the shortest map of desert at 17.10 seconds. Coming in at number... At the second shortest map is Cameraman HQ at... No, sorry, Toilet HQ at 18 seconds... 18.36 seconds. And then coming in at third place is Cameraman HQ, which is 19.48 seconds. And then runner-up for the second longest map is Toilet HQ at 22.85 seconds. And number one, Palm Paradise, 33.24 seconds. Let me know if you're shocked by any of those secrets down below. So something the title... Something the title alluded to would be crates. Is there a way to get special crates or is there anything juicy like that? And the answer is no. There, <laughs> there is no way to increase luck get different types of crates besides the ones that are already in the shop, which is really unfortunate. Like, games like Anime Adventure and games like that, you're able to actually upgrade uh, or upgrade your chances of luck with either with Robux or by unlocking them in-game. So it's unfortunate that Toilet Tower Defense doesn't have something like that. So as I was saying before, like other games where you can increase your luck, increase your summons, or get better crates and, and better lucks like that. Oh wait, you can't. Oh my gosh, guys, you can upgrade your luck. It just costs 200 Robux. I actually didn't know that. Oh my gosh, I am a noob. Okay, so you can upgrade your luck, but obviously we'd want to do it for free. We don't want to have to pay to double our coins. We don't want to have to pay to increase our luck. So how is there a way in the game to get more luck boost? And at this point in time, there, from my knowledge and understanding, there isn't any way to get luck boost for free. I think you have to spend Robux to get them, which is super, super unfortunate. So hopefully in the near future, they add a way for us to basically increase our luck and get better summons without having to spend Robux and just spending a bunch of in-game time. Because I think we can all agree, that's a little bit stupid. 
All right, the next secret slash mystery we have on the list is if becoming a VIP in this game is worth it. And as far as I'm aware, the only benefit to being a VIP is that you get more money when you're in the AFK farm. And the the answer is is no, it's not. Because you can get so much more coins from the strategy that I showed you and this other video that I should be showing on the screen right now. You can get a bunch more coins by doing that method versus having all of those features that were just shown. So you can go ahead and consider that myth completely busted as it is kind of just a complete waste of time. So secret busted. And our last myth of the video is what actually happened to Toilet Tower Defense and why haven't we heard from Talantrix? And I know, I know a lot of you guys are curious about this. So this is basically gonna be a speculation because we don't actually know. But we'll talk about it while I'm playing a game. So obviously we don't know what happened to Talantrix for sure because there's no way of really knowing because he's so currently copy striked or copyright striked on YouTube so he literally can't speak out right now even if he wanted to. And that's probably why we haven't heard from him for the most part. And that's why, and he's been the one that's been saying pretty much everything on Talantrix's behalf. Or maybe not necessarily on his behalf, but, you know, speaking for Talantrix. If you are picking up what I'm laying down, we do need to turn on a skip on here. But if I had to guess, since Toy Tower Defense is back, and uh, not only is the game back, but, <laughs> I said but, but... All of the skins and everything along those lines are still the same. That leads a lot of us in the community to believe that they came to a deal that either benefited both sides like properly and both sides are making a fair share that they think they should or that the copyright claim was completely dropped because Roblox or whatever systems that this case was taken to got dropped because there wasn't enough evidence provided that Talantrix basically copyrighted on the Fook Boom, if that makes any sense. Because a lot of people speculated and said before about how it doesn't really make sense that the Fook was doing a copyright claim in the first place, as the Skippy Toilet assets were free to begin with. So it really did have a lot of people, myself included, scratching their heads being like, on what grounds can the Fook Boom actually do a claim but you know we played a bias standpoint and didn't want to step on anyone's toes so as far as that argument goes the fullest degree we don't actually know however we do know that the reason why talantrix hasn't spoke up yet is in fact because he's still he's still copy strike like i like guess he's copyright strike right now he can't speak right now that is the reason why there there literally is no other reason that is that is what it is also oh, it looks like we're gonna have a bit of a leaky -ation. How much HP do these all have? 80? Well, that sucks. I need to try to get some more money so I can put the site in speaker man down. I'm just casually trying to beat a nightmare mode, by the way. I just finally got the scientist cameraman, and I'm like, oh yeah, when I get scientist cameraman, I'll be able to beat this easily. <laughs> so we're about to find out, aren't we? Either way, that is going to be all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed me uncovering the secrets and mysteries all about Toilet Tower Defense. If you guys do want to see more, make sure you guys like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Without further ado, I will see you guys once again in the next video. I, I, I still lost. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.